um, could you please tell me what your name is, how old you are and what you do as a job? Hi, my name's Jordan. Uh, I'm 29 years old and I work as a registered psychologist. Awesome. Um, so what is your role and response? What role and responsibilities do you have in your job? Um, so as a psychologist, there's a bunch of things that I do as part of my day to day. Um, the two main areas are counselling. So sitting in the room, really stereotypical thing like what you might see on a movie where I might work with a client or uh, a group of people to help them understand what's going on, presenting problem and trying help them make a plan to move forward through that. Um, so counselling is one thing and then the other main part of my role would be doing assessments where I might test uh, cognitive abilities, so things like attention, memory in, uh, in young people and adults. And I also run groups and there's also a lot of boring stuff attached alongside that as well, like lots of paperwork and admin, that kind of thing too. Yep. So how long have you been in your current job? So currently... Uh, I've been in it for six months, but so I, I work in private practice at the moment and I've worked in a bunch of areas in psychology before this. So um, that's one of the things I love about the industry. So I've worked in schools before, uh, working with young people. I've worked in the youth justice system, uh, system so uh, like a prison with young people. Um, and I've worked with industry, so working with the AFP, the Department of Defence as well. Awesome. Um, so is this your first job? What did you do before? Did you change? So in psychology, it's not my first job. As I've mentioned, I've worked in um, a school, a youth justice centre uh, for a private company. Uh, before I was working as a psychologist, I had to study. So I had to work while I was studying. So I originally worked at KFC was my first job. And before I uh, started working as a psychologist I, uh, through uni, I also worked at Target. Awesome. Um, so what subjects did you do at high school? Why did you choose them? Did they link to what you wanted to do? Um, so in my VCE, I did a, a range of subjects. So I did music, I did visual communication, uh, which I wasn't very good at. I'm not a very creative person, but I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do after school. Um, I did psychology and maths and English. Um, did you have to do any extra study once you left school to become a psychologist? What, um, what study did you do? Uh, yes, so you definitely need to do further study after high school to become a psychologist. Um, I did my bachelor degree at university and then, and then after that I had to do an honours degree uh, to get registered. Once you've done your honours degree, there is an option where you can go out and work in the field as a provisional psychologist, which is like a, a trainee psychologist. And... I had to do that for a couple of years and pass the national psychology exam, do a lot of um, assessments to get, uh, to get uh, registered. And then after I'd done that internship, now I'm a registered psychologist and can work by myself. Awesome. Um, so what's the qualification that you have for your job? Um, and how did you get that qualification? So I got a bachelor of psychological studies honors. So, um, I went to university to do that, the, and it took me five years. You can do it in four years, but most people it takes a little bit longer than that because it is, it's quite full on. And how much can you earn in your job? Uh, so it really depends. Um, when you first go out and work as a provisional psychologist, because you're more on the, the lower end of, uh, or the beginning of your career, you might end up in that kind of fifty to sixty thousand dollar range, and it really can depend and vary from there. So, uh, private practice when you're working for yourself, it, it can depend. You can uh, charge upwards of one hundred and seventy dollars an hour, but if you're working for a bigger business, the salary might be between eighty and one hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, and is there a high employment opportunities in your field? So. It's, it's quite, um, there's quite a lot of work for psychologists. Uh, an important thing maybe to think about is that it's quite competitive to get into your honours degree. There's lots of people that want to get into those, uh, those courses and there's not many places. So it's really competitive when you're studying. But once you're, you're registered and you're out in the workforce, there's heaps of work out there. And there's the thing I love about psychology and being a psychologist is that 
I can work in all of these different settings like a school or a prison or a clinic. And even though they're all really different and I love what uh, all different things about them, my role stays the same in all of those different settings. Yeah. Um, and how did you get your job? Where do you look to get a psychologist job? So that's a good question. I've gotten jobs through uh, a couple of ways as a psychologist. So uh, some of them I've just found online through Seek and have applied for and gotten, which I was fortunate enough to get through an interview process. However, my current job I got because I'm friends with another psychologist that works there. And so when you become registered and start working in the field, you eventually over time start to meet and get to know a lot of other psychologists in the area or in the field. And quite often uh, when opportunities might uh, come up, we might talk to each other and uh, let each other know when there's a job that sounds really good. Awesome. Um, what is hard about your job? Uh, so that's a good question too. So there's a, it, it's not an easy job being a psychologist. I wouldn't describe it as an easy job. Um, maybe the main uh, thing that I would think would be the most difficult would be as a psychologist, we spend uh, all day, every day, basically uh, hearing about some pretty uh, tough things with our clients so that can be pretty confronting at times. So I think the most difficult thing would be being able to manage our own mental health as a, as a psychologist. So, and how we manage that is by having something called supervision. So I've got another psychologist that I go and check in with uh, and we discuss difficult cases and that kind of thing. And another really hard thing as well is just keeping up with all of the paperwork. Um, what do you like about your job? Uh, I think I kind of touched on this before, but I do love the job very much. So uh, whether it, I'm running a group in a prison working with violent offenders or drug and alcohol groups with young people as well, or whether I'm just working at a school with uh, students that might be stressed about their studies or working in a clinic with people that are out in the workforce. The thing I love about it is I get to meet people from all different walks of life that have different and varied backgrounds, get to know them and understand what's kind of happening and how we can help them. But on top of that, I get to go and be exposed to all of these really cool and interesting areas, but my role doesn't necessarily change. At the end of the day, I'm interested in understanding what a person's, uh, uh, the challenges a person might be facing and then learning and working with them to help get through those challenges. So that's what I love about it. Awesome. And what traits would someone have to have to be in your job? So I mentioned before that it can be pretty tough and competitive to get into uh, an honours degree, so I guess you need to be uh, committed to your study for one, for one, and I'll be honest, I wasn't as committed to my study in high school as I should have been, but throughout university, I think that was where I learnt that it's something I'm really passionate about and I wish I did focus a little bit more when I was in high school. Um, so you need to be uh, willing to study uh, and be resilient, and you also need to be compassionate. So what I mean by that is being able to uh, make sure you, you're showing the person you're talking to that you care and that you're listening to them non-judgmentally as well. Yep. Um, and then my last question is, where can your job take you? Is there any travel opportunities? Is there higher positions that are available? Yep, um, there are. So you could, if you're working for a private company, you can move up and become a senior clinician or a senior psychologist. Uh, and that would involve you being a supervisor of other uh, trainee or provisional psychologists. Uh, you can also, beyond that, if you're interested in more business-minded, you can start in your own business, So, or maybe you'd like to run your own clinic. So that means you would become a director of that clinic. So there's an op opportunity there. In regards to uh, traveling, uh, not really, because uh, the qualifications in each country differ for psychologists. So I'm only registered as a, a health practitioner and a psychologist in Australia, and that does not always uh, carry over to other countries, and it can be a very difficult process to get that done. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us today. No worries. Thanks for having me.